Hey guys, how's it going? Azure Collections here, and today we're putting together another one of my 3D printed action figures. This time, we're putting together the Batman Beyond action figure, and I've kind of used a new resin this time around. Uh, I just wanted to see what it looks like, how it feels, if it performs well or not, and this is like a review video for that. This is the Resion K Plus resin. Thank you so much, Resion, for provi providing me with the resin. And uh, basically in this video, I'm just going to put it together compared with the other resin that I've been using as my base resin uh, for action figures and to see if this will be a good replacement or not. So right out the bat, the resin does look really nice. So this is the K plus resin and it's supposed to mimic like an injection molded part. Obviously, there are some resin lines here, but it does resemble uh, injection molded part quite well in terms of the texture and how it looks. I didn't clean off all the supports at the back there, but yeah, I think overall it does look a little bit clean or cleaner than the other resins I've used. Uh, it holds good details, which is really nice. We can probably see that better in the head. Yeah, it's black, so it's difficult to see, but it does hold all the details, which is nice. There's a little bit of a shine to it. Similar to what you'd get with the injection molded plastics, but yeah, overall it does look good. Even with the minute details on the belt and everything else, it's captured everything. I can't see any faults or mistakes. So there's a gap, slight gap uh, in the belt as well. So yeah, the resin kind of captured that really well. There's no issues or paint faults or print faults, sorry. Uh, there's no issues or print faults, so that's really nice. Uh, overall, I think all the details are captured really well. Uh, if you look at the uh, blades here on his gauntlet, that's really sharp. That's really good details. So I have basically both hands fully done. And first impressions are that the material is really strong. I really like that it feels sturdy. And even when I was pushing some things in, it doesn't feel like it's going to break. It allows for good articulation. And there's no issues whatsoever that I've faced so far. So you can easily maneuver things. This joint is a little bit tight. Uh, and I had to kind of uh, force it a little bit to make it move. I'll probably be able to show you better on this side of the uh, hand. So yeah, it's a little bit tighter than the other one. Uh, and with the material itself, there is a little bit more of like a wear kind of thing that happens. So when the material grinds with, it, with itself, there is... Not powdering, but there's scratching, so it's not fully scratch resistant like the um, M58, but still it's a really good resin. I think this might be stronger than the M58 uh, because I haven't had any issues with breakage or anything at all whatsoever so far, so I think it's slightly stronger than the M58. I mean, definitely stronger than the M58, but the M58 and the TH72 mix that I use, it's still stronger than that, so yeah, that's a plus point, definitely. So here we have the body done as well. And something I realized while putting the body together is that uh, with the body, with the material in general, it's a lot more harder when it's uh, cold or room temperature. And it takes a little bit more heating to get it more pliable, but uh, definitely can be done. Some of the parts I feel like are going to be more difficult, especially with the shoulder kind of butterfly sockets here. That's going to be a little bit more difficult. Everything else is coming together really well. And uh, because it's harder when it's um, in its normal state, I think that it'll just act more like an action figure. So I'm really excited so far. Everything looks really good. I can't see any of the scratching because it only happens where there's like joints touching each other. So there's a little bit in there, if you can see that. So there's not much scratching on any of the visual parts. So I'm really happy with that. I should have painted the figure because now it's starting to look really, really nice. I should have painted uh, that red, eyes white, and also some accents, silver accents to the belt, but I didn't, so oh well, we'll figure it out. So here we have the future Bad Vigilante action figure all done, and for this print, we used the Resi One K Plus resin, and shout out and a big thank you to Resi One for providing me with this resin to test my prints with. Thank you so much, this is a great resin, and I'll quickly go through more of the what I found in this kind of activity of printing out this Batman figure. So if we look at, I'll just take him off the stand. If we look at Batman up close, uh, the finish does resemble, like Resion claims, it does resemble uh, injection molded part. 
which is really really nice i think yeah you can't get rid of those uh some of those uh parts up top here it's just how resin printing works I think hopefully um, if you use a good resin printer and you're using smaller layer heights, it's easier to cover up. But uh, for me, I was using a 0 0.05 or 5 micron kind of print layers for this figure. It's my prototype settings. So every time I do a prototype figure, I use a slightly bigger layer height. Only issue I had with this figure while putting it together, and it's my own fault, is uh, this piece absolutely kind of exploding when I tried to put it together. The reason is I tried to put it together without heating it up, which is totally my fault. So when I tried to put it together, it just exploded. And uh, yeah, basically we don't have that pe that part or piece. Um, I guess it is what it is. I don't mind it too much. Uh, this was a prototype print for me anyway, just to test out what the resin is like. And I am very pleased to announce that this resin is absolutely incredible. So. Uh, this is the Batman figure that's completely done. It is a bit loose in the knees. Everything else is pretty tight, which is kind of surprising. Everything else works really well and holds pose. The knees are a little bit more loose. And I think it's more to do with the way I've structured the joints. It works really well with the other resin that I use. Uh, but for, for this resin, it's a little bit more loose. Uh, I'll quickly show you the other resins or the other print that I have using the same uh, kind of prototype. So this is a little bit more not loose. I don't know if that's even a word. Uh, this is a little bit more tight. I think that's a better word. This is a little bit more tight and it stays in position a little bit better. Uh, with the thighs, it's pretty much the same on this figure as well. So it, it can hold its pose and it will stick to wherever you put it which is good, it's just the knees. So I think if I clean up the knees a little bit and make the actual joint portion here, uh, the middle of it a little bit thinner and the sides of the actual uh, body parts covering up the joints a little bit thicker, that would resolve the issue similar to what, I, what we have on the hands here because this part has a little bit more beef on either side of the joint. So I think that's uh, probably a better way to do this there is no issues with articulation so the toe hinge there works really well uh, the toe or the feet work really well as well the only issue is i can't get it to rotate here um yeah which i think it's just a little bit too tight and i don't want to break it uh, but <clears throat> from what i've tested it so far it doesn't feel like it's gonna break uh, even with this resin, I'm a little bit more worried that it might break, so I'm a little bit more careful with this. But with the K Plus resin, I just don't worry about it breaking that much. It might just be like a perception thing or because I've just used it and my mind thinks that it's a good kind of resin. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, the print quality is pretty much there. Um, the black resin or the Resion K Plus is a little bit more dirty in terms of the print. It's not as smooth as the M58 mixed with the TH72. So if I mix it or if I play around with mixing other resin to this uh, kind of resin, the K Plus resin, I might get better results or smoother finishes. But yeah, I don't mind it at all. I'm really, really happy about how the points here at the um, yeah, at Batman's ear thingies. They're just really pointy and there's no loss in quality whatsoever. I used the uh, Uniformation GK2 printer for this print, which is, I think, one of the best printers I've used. I've only used two printers and I've also, I guess, uh, seen a review for a whole bunch of other print other printers as well. But the Resion, uh, Resion resins work really well with the Uniformation uh, printers because I think of the heated bed, uh, most of the Resion resins uh, really react well to being like at that perfect 26 to 30 degree temperature. So yeah, that, that might have just been like the deciding factor of making this print that much better, which I believe, I think if I had painted it, that would look so cool, man. Like I should have painted it. I did not. But uh, either way, uh, there is a slight issue here as well. And that's completely my fault. Uh, I pushed it in and then when I was moving it about, it kind of uh, unpegged. It should look like this. So there's a small peg in there, if you can see, that's unpegged from uh, basically the the shoulder butterfly that goes around it. I'm trying to fiddle it 
uh, or get it to work. Uh, but anyways, it doesn't bother me too much. It's a prototype print and I'm super happy with it. I think apart from the loose joints, everything is really, really nice. And yeah, the figure I think just with the black makes it look a lot better as well. With gray, it does kind of not look like Batman, but yeah, this black definitely looks really nice. So overall, I think that this resin would absolutely work for action figures. I've moved it about, and as you can see in uh, the parts that go within the figure, there are not many scratches or any issues. I didn't clean it up with like a sanding, uh, sanding kind of stage, so I just put it together uh, right out of the print. And I like physically just broke off the support. So that would have caused a little bit more trauma on the surface as well. So if you clean it up, I think it would just look really, really nice. And you wouldn't even have to paint it for characters that have a black color scheme. Um, but I mean, it's always good to have like some details punched in. If I had the reds on the chest, the belt and the silvers around the belt loops and some eyes, that would just bring the action figure out a whole bunch more. But ultimately, I still think that it's a really good resin for action figure prints and it would definitely work. Um, there's some scratches that you can see when there are two parts uh, touching each other directly. Uh, it's not like the M58 where it's completely scratch proof. Um, but yeah, this is a little bit more scratchy, uh, but ultimately it still articulates well. It doesn't break easy. I haven't had any parts break other than the foot piece. Uh, that I showed you earlier and this one it was mostly my fault uh, but yeah ultimately this is a really good resin if you want to try it out I think I'll try to experiment with some other resins just to mix things around and see if I can make this stronger uh, but definitely recommended this is a good resin from Resi One so uh, there you have it guys the Resi One K Plus review I think it's a good resin so uh, feel free to check out Resi One's uh, website if you want to get this resin use code ASRAC to get discounts I'll put uh, the discount code at the bottom there uh, in the description section so you can get a little bit of a discount. Uh, also, if you want to see action figures like this or download print printable files like this so that you can make your own action figures at home, check out my Patreon. I'll put links down in the description and in the comments. Uh, but also, I wanted to extend a huge thank you to all of my Patreons, Chris Sudak, Daniel Lopez, Zon Jonathan Zaragoza, Ryan M and Ryan Davies, thank you so much for your support and for uh, believing in me. And I am so thankful that you guys are supporting me and fueling my passion with uh, all of your support. Also a huge shout out to Chris Sudak, who always does these amazing prints of my figures. He's done the flash and the reverse flash prints uh, in his recent Instagram post, so do check him out. He's got a Facebook profile as well. I'll put some links down in the description, but do check it out. Uh, you'll see some images on screen as well. Uh, but thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for your support. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you want to uh, see more of this, please uh, like this video. If you want to see videos other videos on my channel and get notifications when new videos are up please subscribe and if you want to let me know about something please put it down in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time